In what looked like a smart move in order not to be outsmarted by the dethroned area of Kano, Aminu Alobayo, the Kano State Governor, Abash Yusuf led other top government officials in the state, including the Speaker of the Kano State House of Assembly, to escort the reinstated and reinstalled area of Kano, His Royal Highness, Muhammad Sanusi II, to take over the Emirate Palace at midnight around 1 a.m. Self recorded video posted online showed the reinstated area arrived the area of Kano Palace in company of the top government officials at midnight. Some minutes ago, we reported that there is tension in Kano State over the reinstatement and reinstallment of former Central Bank of Nigeria, TBN Governor Just as the State Governor, Abba Yusuf, has ordered the arrest of the deposed area of Kano, Aminu Adobayero, who reportedly returned to Kano early morning night on Saturday. It would be recalled that Adobayero was dethroned alongside the areas of Karai, Ranubichi and Gaya whose Emirates have been scrapped. According to Premium Times, the governor's spokesperson, Sanusi Batio, said the deposed area was smuggled back to Kano with alleged intention to cause mayhem as the reinstated area Lamino Sanusi entered the palace. The former area was smuggled into Kano City last night in an attempt to forcefully return to the palace two days after being deposed by the governor. The new area, Sanusi Lamino Sanusi, arrived at the area's palace in the company of the governor, the deputy governor, the speaker of the state assembly, and other top government functionaries at about 1 a.m. on Saturday, the 25th of May, 2024. As the chief security officer of the state, His Excellency, the executive governor of Kano State, Alhaji Abakabi Yusuf, has directed the commissioner of police to arrest the deposed area with immediate effect for disturbing public peace and attempting to destroy the relative peace the state enjoys. Bayero, who was said to be out of the state as at the time of his dethronement, was seen in a video posted online to have arrived at Madame Aminu Kano International Airport Saturday morning where he observed the Muslim morning prayer amidst hundreds of sympathizers and supporters. Voices heard in the video indicated that the sympathizers were singing he remained the original area of Kano as he committed no offense to warrant his removal. Another video on Saturday morning showed a large crowd of people escorted the 15th area of Kano, Alhaji Aminu Adon Bayero to Nasarawa, the second Emirate Palace of Kano State. It was gathered that the 15th area of Kano, Aminu Adon Bayero arrived in Kano under tight security and proceeded to the Nasarawa Indians Palace. Videos showed that large crowd of supporters kept vigil to wait the arrival of the 15th area of Kano, Aminu Adon Bayero who was welcomed back to Kano by the supporters shortly after the plane carrying the monarch landed at the Aminu Kano International Airport at 4.30 a.m. On Friday, we reported that group of people protested in Abuja on Friday and blocked the entrance to the National Assembly following the reinstatement and reinstatement of the former Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi as His Royal Highness Muhammad Sanusi II by the Kano State Governor, Abba Yusuf. Reports from Abuja on Friday afternoon also indicated that the protesters blocked National Assembly and the Presidential Villa Gate, demanding President Bola Tinubu's intervention emirate issue in Kano State to avoid breakdown of law and order. It was gathered that the protesters marched peacefully along the streets in Abuja leading to the government facilities carrying signs and banners to express their concerns about the reinstatement of Sanusi as Enya in Kanu. The group named Concerned Patriots of Nigeria said Governor Yusuf has taken his abuse of office to another level by dissolving the traditional council. The Concerned Patriots of Nigeria condemned the actions of the Kanu state governor and appealed to the National Assembly and President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to help resolve the issue for the sake of peace in Kanu state. In our earlier report, we indicated that His Royal Highness, Muhammad Sanusi II has held his first Jamaat prayer inside Government House in Kano State. The reinstated area of Kano, Muhammad Sanusi II was expected by many to leave the Jamaat. Friday, prayers at the Kano Central Mosque situated at the palace in Kofa Kudu after he had received the letter of his reinstatement as the area of Kano. Channels Television reported few minutes ago with a video showing the reinstated area leading the Friday Muslim prayer at a mosque inside Government House in Kano State. Meanwhile, Kano State Governor, Abba Yusuf had on Friday promised to report Justice Mohammed Liman of the Federal High Court for allegedly giving an order stopping the reinstatement of Sanusi Lamido as the 16th area of Kano from the United States. Punch newspaper in a report few minutes ago indicated that he said he would report the judge to the Nigeria Governor's Forum. Justice Liman had granted the order in an application filed by the Sakinda working member of the Kano Emirates, Aminu Baba Dan Abundi, to stop the Kano State government from enforcing the Kano State Emirate Council repeal law which dethroned all five areas in the state. However, Yusuf, while reacting to the court order after issuing the reinstatement letter to Lamido at Africa House, Kano State Government House, said, the person that issued the court order was in America but he is ordering us to stop what we are doing. This issue of abuse I must present it before the governor's forum so that we can tackle it accordingly. We are agents of following due process, that's why we did what we did openly before everybody. Those that are meant to maintain that rule of law remains must follow that also, punch newspaper reports ends in quote. We had earlier reported that the former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi has been reinstalled and reinstated as the 16th area of Kano after he was asked to vacate the throne four years ago. Sanusi was reinstalled on Friday despite court order asking the Kano state government to stop action. 
Videos have been posted online showing the reinstatement of the reinstated area Sanusi Lamino Sanusi by Kano State Government and presentation of reinstatement letter to the 16th area of Kano, Muhammad Sanusi II by Kano State Governor, Abba Yusuf. Kano State Governor, Abba Yusuf had on Thursday evening stated via his social media handle that, after signing the new Kano Emirate Council Law at Government House, Kano, today, I hereby announce the reinstatement of His Royal Highness Muhammad Sanusi II as the area of Kano State, AKY. Governor Abba Yusuf, on Thursday, reinstated Sanusi Lamido as the heir of Kano, four years after he was dethroned by a former governor of the state, Abdullahi Gantinje. Videos show traditional rulers, kingmakers, and other dignitaries were at the art chamber of the Kano State Government House where Sanusi received the letter of reinstatement. Kano Governor Abba Yusuf has assented the bill passed by the State Assembly into law, which reversed the Gantinje administration's creation of new emirates into law. There was earlier reports that operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS, have stalled the Kano State Emirates Palace after the House of Assembly declared all Emirate Councils dissolved. In a quick reaction, the Department of State Services debunked the reports that their men stormed the Palace of the area of Kano after the dissolution of the five Emirate Councils by the State Assembly on Thursday. The Department State Director, Muhammad Al Hassan, in a statement described the report as untrue. He stated that no DSS operatives had been dispatched to the area's palace. He stated that the First Lady, Oluremi Tinubu, was visiting Kano on an assignment and was also scheduled to visit the area's palace but learned that the area was out of town, making her postpone the visit. We drafted our men as part of our schedules on the visit of the First Lady Oluremi Tinubu but learned that she was not going there and we withdrew our men, he added. Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf has reinstated Muhammad Sanusi II as the area of Kano, overturning former Governor Gandhija's decision after the Kano State House of Assembly passed a new law consolidating the Emirates back into one, under Sanusi's leadership. Governor Yusuf has given the current areas, including Aminu Adon Bayero, 48 hours to vacate their positions and hand over all properties to the state's deputy governor. Some persons said the move aims to restore unity and cultural heritage in Kano, fulfilling Yusuf's campaign promises. The decision has sparked reactions, with some seeing it as a restoration of traditional structures and a response to Sanusi's supporters' long-standing grievances. We gathered that the reinstated area of Kano, Sanusi Lamido had arrived at Kano State Government House to receive his letter of reinstatement before resuming duty as the new area. The new first-class area of the state was honored in a homecoming reception late Thursday. Lamido later on Friday morning went to the Africa House in Kano Government House for a mini doba ceremony which started around 10 a.m. He is expected to proceed to Nasarawa Area's palace and from there, the area will lead the Muslim Jumat prayers on Friday at the Kano Central Mosque located at the palace in Kofa Kundu. The new law signed by Governor Abba Yusuf also abolished four emirates, Vichy, Gaia, Karaya, and Ranu. There was a court order which directed all parties involved to maintain status quo pending the determination of the suit filed by Saki Dawaki Baba and Amin Baba Dandabundi on Thursday. Justice A. M. Lehman of the Federal High Court granted leave to the plaintiff, applicant to issue and serve their concurrent originating motion, as well as all other court processes on the sixth defendant, IGP, in FCT Abuja and outside the jurisdiction of the Honorable Court. The defendants in the suit include the Kano State Government, the Kano State House of Assembly, the Speaker of the State Assembly, the Kano State Commissioner of Police, the Inspector General of Police, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, and the Department of State Services. Justice Lehman ruled that, in view of the constitutional and jurisdictional issues apparent on the face of the application, parties shall address the court on same at the hearing of the fundamental rights application which is fixed for the 3rd of June, 2024. That in order to maintain the peace and security of the state, an interim injunction of this honorable court is granted restraining the respondents from enforcing, executing, implementing and operationalizing the Kano State Emirate Law Council, repeal law. That parties are hereby ordered to maintain status quo of the passage and assent of the bill pending the hearing of the fundamental rights application. The judge adjourned the case to June 12, 2024, for hearing. Osasuwa Kang Nebel, bringing you the news in a more digital way.